everyone, Ryan with PT Explosion here. This week on the blog, what we have for you, we have a six exercise circuit. Okay, this is called the Dumbbell Matrix. Okay, there's loads of different Dumbbell Matrix out there, but this is the one that I have for you, six exercise circuit. You can have your clients use the same dumbbells the whole time, whether it's in a boot, boot camp setting or whether it's your personal training clients. If it's a boot camp setting, you can set it up to where it's uh, interval training based, so time work, time rest. If you're with your PT clients, you can do the same, or you can give them a repetition range to work from, okay? So I got, you know, you don't need a whole lot of weight for this. Uh, female clients, you can take them down to the lower numbers. Male clients, they might try to grab the big weight at first, but by the end of this circuit, they're really gonna be feeling it, okay? So let's get started. Exercise number one, what we're gonna get, we got our dumbbells. These are about 70 pounders, as you can see. This is condensed weight. So exercise number one, what we have is a rotating press, okay? So we're gonna do a bent over rotating press. I'll show you from the side. So we're gonna be joystick position with our arms. We got external rotation, then we're gonna punch it straight out, pull it back down. Bam, right back in. When they get to the top, you wanna make sure that elbows and wrists are parallel as they punch it out and they bring it back in. Okay, show you a couple views from the front. Here, bam, bam, right back in. Okay, that's a very challenging exercise shoulder-wise. Make sure if you have any clients that have any shoulder issues, talk to them, let them know that this is gonna challenge them and let, um, let them give you feedback as well, okay? Take the weight down, down, down on these if you need to, okay? So from there, we got our rotating press with the DBs. What we got next is we got a rotational lunge with a curl. So to be here, get a parallel stance, and rotate it to the side as I go down, get a good curl. Take it to the other side, bam. I'm wide enough to when I drop it straight down, I got a 90 in the front and a 90 in the back. Getting that great curl, taking it back, I'll take it to the side. Boom. Boom, you can have your clients keep their arms up, curl it. Or you can have them curl at the bottom. Take it back down. It's up to you on how you want to cue the curls there, okay? Legs are getting rocking, hips, upper body, arms, all that's going good. From there, exercise number three, we got some dumbbell uppercuts, okay? These ones are challenging for the shoulders, biceps, hips are getting some good work as well. So we got elbows in a nine, you're gonna come through, boom. Showing off the guns, off the swans, keeping that up in the air in that good guard position, coming right through. See, I'm getting good twist. Good spin on my hip as well. So you want that arm at a 90, come right through. They don't need to go very fast on these. They're gonna be working it really well. Right in there. Boom, okay. So that was the dumbbell uppercuts. From there, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a um, a squat to a wide press, okay? It's like an overhead wide. So I'm gonna set up my dumbbells right on my shoulders, palms are gonna be facing in on this, just to kind of protect my shoulder as I go up. So I'm getting my great squat. Bam! So I'm going to that wide. It's not gonna be straightforward. Overhead press, we've got a wide press. Squeezing the bum at the top. Boom! Boom! Straight from the side. Breathing hard. Draw those hips back. That good Y. Bum squeeze at the top for good pelvic support. Palms still facing in. Boom. Big exercise. Beautiful one. From there, we got a front raise and a lateral raise, raise together. Okay? Not, uh, not a. Beginner exercise by any means. Got a lot of coordination going on. If you're doing your boot camps at the halfway point, you can cue them to switch it over to the other side. Okay, you can also have them go into a squat hold here. And get this. 
Yeah, so they're working their legs a little bit more. Out to the side. Boom. Boom. Shoulders are getting a big workout, rip strength. Legs are getting worked as well. Getting into the last little exercise, okay, of our dumbbell matrix, okay? We have a burpee with a T row. All right. Get that burpee, jump it back, teeing it up. You can see both sides. Jump it in and then right back up. Boom, you can tee one side, jump it in. Go right up to the top. You can have a little jump at the top. If you wanna get those climbs, work a little bit extra harder. So there we go. There's our deadly dumbbell matrix. Okay, if you have any questions on the exercises, let me know. As you can see, it's getting me out of breath. These are actually 10 pounders, okay? Don't need a whole lot of weight on this, but for your more advanced clients, load them up, get them rocking. Make sure their shoulders are safe. They're doing all the exercises correctly. These are exercises that everyone can, can do, you know, regardless if they're using weight or not. If you're more uh, beginner clients, just get them going weightless in a lot of these exercises. Just having that Y squats activating. Some major rhomboid action, great shoulder activation for that one. Mix it up, get them rocking. Those six exercises, gonna get them upper body, a great workout, get everything feeling really good, burning calories, feeling great. Maybe throwing some obscenities your way, so be prepared for that. Squat underneath it, lunge through those obscenities. Hope you enjoyed it. Love to hear from you. Have a great day.